So it's early in the morning. The sun's just getting up. Come work with me today. We moved the trailer out because we're getting rid of the fish tank out of the back shed so I can get that more organized. Because I've got too much paint on the ground. Um, need to get my shit organized. Wife's car. And then she's been busy cutting out trees. Filling up the green bin. We're going to take Big Mo and um, head to a tennis court. Then we've got a gutter cleaning job to have a look at. And then we've got the Queensland to the wash. So come follow me and we'll see how it goes. So what we're doing here is it's a bit like a Mediterranean style house. It's got the loop tiles. Just doing the courtyard here, so what we've done is sprayed down 7% with a heavy soap. We're letting it dwell because these stones, <laughs> these stones are popping out, so we don't want to hit it with pressure and knock out all these stones. So we just, um, we've let it sit in here for 20 minutes. Just going through and just, just giving a quick soft wash just to knock out all the crap out of the grooves. Great thing about this house, everything is flowing towards that gate. So we'll wash out all that. It flows straight out the gate, straight onto those stones. So nothing's going to get damaged and everything's going to look nice. So we just finished around the pool. I didn't really film that but we've just done around the pool around all the glass flushed it all out so nice and easy um just flushed a little bit of that out so what we want to do now is tackle the tennis court um gonna do hit these stairs we're gonna tackle the tennis court it's gonna come up mid um i dropped a bit of chemical on the court here before so looks really nice as you can see somebody already had a crack last time made a mess um, and then what we're going to do is clean up this little courtyard area as well it might hit these walls a little bit but we're going to clean this up so we'll film this it'll come kind of, that's going to come up really nice once it's all done and uh, we'll film a little bit of this tennis court. So, let's go. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set you up as a time lapse. I'll put you up in the garden bed up here so you can watch me. Just talking like you're a person. <laughs> so I'm not talking to a camera. And then, yeah, we're going to tackle this whole tennis court. We'll run around all the stone edging, just tidy all that up, and then we'll just douse it with 1% um, right around, just clean it all up. As you can see, I've already hit some of the stone with um, chemical before. So you can see it's all gone brown so i'll do i'll give it a quick wash um and then that should come up really nice as you can see there you get nice bright colors back in the tennis court again so let's um crack into it
as you can see the stone wall looks pretty grubby and dirty and goes right around we're going to clean that little pergola and up in that corner here's some of the stuff we've already cleaned this is looking good now we got this pergola area that we're going to clean out it's pretty gnarly pretty dirty so gonna put this little puppy here turn it down get to work nice and dry all finished, stone looks good. <clears throat> so, just doing a recap on yesterday. Everything turned to a bit of crap, but um, we had the tennis court. We cleaned, he wanted us to clean the um, stone walls and stuff around so that was an extra um he wanted us to clean the patio at the front that was an extra so that job took longer than expected um then we got to a second job which was a gutter clean um there were black terracotta tiles um and i started to walk on the roof and then i broke two of them so went my foot went through the roof um into the into the ceiling cavity and I definitely, we were meant to be doing, blowing off the roof on that one. So I had to, he had heaps of spare tiles, so it was good. I just ripped them out and put two new ones back in. And then I just cleaned everything from the ground. So we blew out all the gutters from the ground with um, high pressure, rinsed the outside of the gutters and stuff, so. Another job that took a little bit longer than expected because if you can't blow them out from the roof, it's a lot harder. Um, especially when you've got a gutter or um, a ladder leaning up against the gutter, so it closes that. When you only got like 50 mil and then a ladder leans on it and it closes, it just, um, it makes it a lot harder. So, and having a gum tree at the back is not ideal for the gutters, so. We did that. I left the blower there, so I've just travelled back this morning and um, picked up the blower. So we're going to head to the roof clean, and they want a, a wall around the back cleaned as well. Um, then we're going to have to, we're going to go have a look at a resort, and then we're going to travel into Brisbane to do a defence force house. So. That is today, so we're gonna scramble two days into one. So what I might start doing is I'll, I'll vlog three days a week um, and I might mash like two days in together. So it becomes a bit easier for me to edit and um, you get probably a bit more content um, spread over two days instead of one day. Cause not every day is exciting. Not every day that you, um, you get to see everything like um i'll show you a bit of footage that i recorded like my battery went dead on my phone i recorded a fair bit of um work at the tennis court and the uh, block walls and stuff but then there was a little patio area i really wanted the footage uh, and i thought i was recording it and then i must have hit the screen somewhere and it stopped recording. I, I got the I got the start of it, um, but I didn't get the remaining bit. So I was a little bit devastated when I got home because I wanted to edit and make a um, short and all that type of stuff. And um, it wasn't there. All I got was a 20 minute video of my pocket, um, which you can't see anything in the dark. So we missed that opportunity, but that's all right. We, we are going out on the hunt on Sunday with the kids 
and we're gonna clean some street signs, some business signs, and we're just gonna run around and cause a bit of mischief. The wife is gonna do uh, some type of plant course thing, so she can go do that with a friend, and we're just gonna go out and cause some mischief with the kids. So let's go have a look at this roof. It's a red roof, and it's in Noosa, so we have to do some special things in Noosa, um, which we normally do, but it's just, we gotta make sure it's working, because it is Noosa. So we're here at the roof clean, as you can see. It's meant to be a red roof. And we'll clean that up real good. Um, so we got to divert water. So we got pump. I we'll just rolled out the plug. So I just plug that into the truck. But what we got to do is we got to drain down there, and we got to drain up here, going into the base. Um. So I don't know if you can see that. sandbag and I've squished it down with my foot so it's nice and compacted against the ground so anything coming off that anything coming off that side of the roof will come down this drown spot and travel back that way um, so it'll just go under the truck there travel back into this one so as we've been watching this one here the water is running out of here and going down to the left so that'll be coming off that section of the roof still on their property so that'll be connected to their roof so what we'll do is we're going to flush out all the dirt and debris and then we'll sandbag just before this one and hook up the pump and then we'll just pump it up into the garden just here because um, that's sand so it's just going to sink straight into the garden and you won't even see the wastewater but we want to keep the hose away from everything so it doesn't get knocked or anything like that so let's get that set up Getting rid of all the sand and debris because that'll mess your little tiny pump up. Um, so that'll burn out those little tiny bilge pumps. I'm about to build the second level of that. If you got a, that's the budget build. Um, I'm. A, so that's the budget build there. I'm about to build the next level of that one, which is your medium build. Depends on your money money and your budget. And then I'm building a trailer unit that is the ultimate um, recovery system, which um, I'll probably build that in two stages because I will upgrade the filters. So it filters the water a lot better than the system that I bought, which is at home, sitting in the shed. Um, so the original system has already cost me $20,000 to get it from the States. Um, and then I'm gonna overhaul it and upgrade it to a much bigger filtration system that we normally use for like water supply and stuff around here. So we'll do that as well. So I've just put water up on the roof. So what you got to do is run a test and then you come back down here and see where the water's coming out. So as you can see, 
there's trickling out of here. You can see that movement there. And that's off the front roof. So the water's gonna travel out through here. It's flushing out a bit of sand in there as well. So we're definitely gonna dam there and pump up into the garden there. So we'll grab out our three sandbags, dam that up. So you can see it's flowing out quite nicely now. Yeah, there. And we put about 10 gallons up on the roof. So it's gonna flush out nicely. But what it's gonna do is pull back up in here. So when you're done, done with your roof, you come down here and just flush all this out with clean water. And then just let it pump all that out and it's done. So let's set it up. So you can see what we got here is we laid down two sandbags. The last sandbag will be holding down the bilge pump to make sure it stays in the water. But you can see the water is damming. It's building up. It's building up there and then it's traveling back up there. So that's the reason why we've got the sandbag down there. And then this is this little narrow stream that's not going anywhere really, but it's coming out of that one there off that roof. So nice there and then we'll pump it straight up in there so we'll get this hooked up and we'll probably cut this hose to make it a bit shorter to get in that garden there um because it struggles to get through that 30 meters of gray pipe if um you got too much water flow so you can always slow down these outlets by putting something over top of them putting a sock up them or putting another sandbag and just slowly letting it come out so where it's enough for the pump to pump up but um we got a good dam there so it'll probably just travel back up here and by the time it gets sucked out it'll be fine so this is your water test so water coming down into your bypass getting sucked up there no water going that way and then it's all coming out up here so I do like to do a water bypass so that it starts wetting that area down so you get a good drenching in there so then the chemicals don't hurt anything so we're spraying the roof as you can see we've um sprayed a fair bit from the ground because we can't walk on the roof because of the rain last night so it's pretty slick so we've been cleaning it from the gutter come out here just to follow up on the pump and it's just working like a dream nothing's going that way there's no soapy water that way um chemicals is coming off the roof now and it's just getting pumped up into here and just going straight down there it might kill a little plant there but that's a sacrifice that you gotta go make um, normally when you you wet it out or you put a neutralizer on that area it's not too bad um, we probably could have pumped it into down in here um, but that's where I decided to pump it so let it go um gonna switch over to some water we're gonna rinse we've basically done about half the roof so we're just gonna switch over hit the bypass turn all that off i probably should have been using soap um i didn't turn my soap on before i might do that next because i had to hit some areas twice so you can use a, just using a platform ladder. We've been spraying the roof. Um, nice and shiny. So you can, look, this roof here is easy. You can spray this one from the ground. Um, the one thing that you're gonna find is that first tile is gonna be the one that is still dirty. 
So if you like walk across the road and look back at your roof, you're gonna find that first hole you missed. So that's the reason for um, a step ladder, platform ladder. Um, we can rinse this one off. This is nice and shiny now. Get a bit this way. Just wet that roof like rain. And all just flush all that off. Um, so the whole idea is we're going to wash as much as the roof from the ground today and then what we'll do is we'll climb on the roof and we'll do so we'll climb on the roof and um what we'll do is just a once over right around the whole roof and grab the five percent ten percent that we missed from the ground so we'll get a lot of it from the ground um there would be small little angles and stuff that we missed, especially up. So you'll find on the back side of those, you'll miss the angle on the far side, but you got all the angle on this side. So um, what, we go, what we'll do is we'll sneak the hose down through here and we'll hit this whole side. And um, the main reason is so we don't slip off the roof because that side is pretty Pretty wet, pretty nasty gum trees there and stuff. So, especially because it rained last night and the roof is not dry. If the roof was dry and black, I'd be happy to walk on it. But when it's rained the night before, it's um, very slick. And I'm not gonna put my life in danger just to wash the roof. We're gonna wash it from the ground. That's another reason why I chose not to use soap at the start. So that way um, I can walk on the roof quite easy. Cause if you just use chlorine, you're gonna be fine. Um, as you can see up there, we've just missed that corner. So we come back out here. We've just rinsed half the roof. Just checking up on the system. Um, as you can see there's a bit of red coming off the roof. Um, so you can see what I mean when I was talking about the flow is there's a fair bit of flow coming out of there when I'm at the front of the roof because um, it's a shorter distance to travel out. Um, the pump, it seems to be keeping up. Probably need a bigger pump. It's starting to flow down here a little bit. So we might back up that. Back this one up. Just get a little bit further. Start a new area. Let that soak in. Let's not to kill too much. And then give it a give it a couple of minutes and let it catch up with the flow so it doesn't overflow. Normally um, if I'm not blocking up that end, I've got an extra sandbag here. Um, so then that can dam up quite a lot. And then the, when I'm doing chemicals and I'm rinsing chemicals, rinsing chemicals, rinsing, um, it's got time to get rid of that excess. But if you put another sandbag here, it actually, it's got a lot further to dam out before it gets rid of that. So it's normally quite nice, but there is still nothing going that way, which is what we want. So we'll just let that catch up. Um, what we'll do is we'll turn it around to chemical because we spray less chemical and we'll put some chemical on the roof um, in areas and we'll go from there. So now we're doing the back side of the roof, which is the last section. I've just soaked up that really heavy. Um, we I've ducked up on the roof here a little bit. Um, we won't need to go up on the roof today. Um, so. We're just, we're gonna let that 12, 15, 20 minutes because it's overcast. Um, but you can see straight away, that's all killed everything up there. So now all the water's coming out of this end drain. So once again, um, everything's coming out of here and flowing that way, which is exactly what we wanted. There's a little, there's a little bit leaching um, out of the sand, but that's to be expected. 
because the sand doesn't stop everything but that is bone dry so the system is working the way we want it so when we rinse this whole roof off and get rid of all the moss and stuff then everything's going to come down through here and travel down through the other end so then it's going to be sweet as you can see the water's traveling down through here um, these hoses are blocking things up a little bit get this on the high side get that up there so the water travels underneath a bit quicker then a um, little bit of oxidization there so what we'll do now is we'll rinse off uh, that side of the roof as you can see the roof is nice and nice and bright red now really good result they were thinking they had to paint the roof but the roof is looking mint and if it rains today it'd be even better because that'll just get rid of everything left on the roof which will be just a bit a few sticks and stuff um, so this is the side that we haven't done um, so it's looking like a brand new roof so we've got the other side dwelling um, could just spray that ridge cap there a little bit um, so we'll hit that with the remaining chemical out of the line and then um, we might come back and just they've got a bit of splash over on that hot water system so we'll give that solar a good rinse out once we're done and then that should be sweet we're all done here then we move on to this one's going to be a pretty big blog uh, we're going down to look at that resort next um, which was a recommendation they didn't come for google ads um, it was a recommendation from a landscaper that um, i use all the time so people want landscaping done i recommend him out and then he recommends me every time there's a driveway or a house or some client wants to clean up something so it works pretty good partnership he does good work i do good work um so always check out whoever you're referring to and make sure you're happy with their work um and the way they answer the phone and everything like that if it's par par with you then team up with them and um network because your network is your net worth so the more network you got the more net worth you got coming back in because that resort might lead to a two thousand dollar driveway cleaning which is a pretty big driveway but then it might lead to the whole complex getting washed and that could be four or five thousand dollars and that one networking is made me thousands of dollars where that landscaper has probably made that off me from networking so got customers like oh do you know anybody who'll do my garden I'm like yep just the guy all right um yep we're gonna get that back roof rinsed okay so we're all finished the roof now what we do for pack up is um we've dropped a whole bunch of water down the drain so probably drop 50 150 to 100 liters of water down the drain flushed it all out so all the chemicals coming out dry so there's no chemical in the water it's all nice and clean if you like comment share um do whatever subscribe that'd be great uh we're going to head from here to look at, at uh, Body Corporate um, Resort. So I'll film a bit of that walking around. And then um, we're going to head into Brisbane and do that um, Defence Force house. So let's get going. So we're in here. We're going to wash all these pavers um, in here, clean up all this stuff. We're going to we'll have to scoop and remove all the debris and then they got a landscaper coming in to re-level the lower sections of the pavers so ideally we'll come in first because you can see that there's a little dip there so re-level all that um all the dips in here so 
will come in and flush it all out like that. There's sunk. Get it all done again. You can see that there's a dip there where the car's driving in and out. Big dip. So they're going to fix all that. All these sections here where the roots come through. So we're we'll going to pressure wash it, remove all the rubbish. We don't want anything going anywhere where it doesn't have to. And up and around here. So probably like park the truck up here wash out the top and then work my way down the driveway and find another section down here to park. There's heaps of taps around on the buildings so that's not too much of a problem. Then he said we can wheel up here and just discard the rubbish in along the garden here and, and stuff so pretty easy job time consuming. Um, but um, yeah, just a little bit by little bit, sweep it, pick it up, sweep it, pick it up. So the idea is to get the driveway and then when they want to do the buildings and the resorts, then you win that as well, because you're already in the door with the driveway. So there's a tap on the wall there. See, taps everywhere. Um, yeah, so we're going to head to Brisbane, do these um, transport houses and um, might pop into Digital Nomads and talk to them about a couple of things on the website. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So basically just rock up the site. You gotta scan the QR code in there, sign in, induct. That's pretty easy, quick. Scaffolding right around the place. So the wall there is pretty gnarly, but that'd be quick soft wash. So I can get up the front, scaffolding all the way up to the roof. I can hit the roof from there. So I don't even have to go on the roof. Uh, so we're here on the second one. We just finished one of these. Um, so we've got the roof. Should be able to get it done. Um, won't be able to do the driveway because it's stuck in the driveway. But uh, scaffolding's up. We'll drag the hose through, get out the back as far as possible. There's um, another one out the back there. As you can see. stuff on that one so there's more to come so we're gonna get stuck into this one but we've got washing on the line there we might just have to ask next door to take that off So we're going next door, ask for the clothes that go off the line. Otherwise they're just gonna get smashed. And um get this one washed out. So we're finished for the day. We just did two of the houses. Um roofs right around the whole house. Um Pretty easy, pretty quick. Got four more of them to do. And then we just quote another 17 of them. So, good money. 
But um, yeah, that's the end of the vlog. Two days. Um, get another one up soon. Catches.